Hello, my name is Arson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnhere.com and this is a module review of Ifinity URL Master Module for .NET NUC. Uh, now, here's my motivation to, to review this module. I have heard a couple of good things about this module lately and lots of people mentioning in comment that they are using this module. So I said, you know what, I don't know this module, I have not use this module yet so let me give it a shot so that's what we'll be doing now here is their website and I'm gonna use their free trial and they have two files one is for the installation package and the other one is for the installation instructions let's download both of them okay so I have now downloaded both files and just just to let you guys know the the idea of this module behind this module is to make the process of uh, rename of naming your you are the the site URLs much easier so you can you can have uh, very meaningful URLs to your dotnet for your dotnet Nook website for the page of your dotnet Nook website so anyway uh, the files are downloaded let's extract the instructions So we have the instructions here. So here we have the installation instructions. Let's have a look at them. So some details here, the the, the regular stuff that you should uh, be aware when installing any module. Do a backup of your app config. The installation process is pretty much the same as any other module. And of course check if there's any errors. Click return and check if there is if there is two new pages, one under host and one under, under admin. So let's go to our test website. This is our test website, which I'm going to module definitions, and I will be installing the module. So let's click on browse. Here's installation package. Next. Close again. Next, accept license. Okay, let's see if there's any error messages. No message, installation successful. Let's click on the return. Now let's see if the new pages were created under host. Yes, first one, friendly URL settings, and under admin, page URLs. Perfect. So both settings, both pages were created properly. Let's go back to the installation guidelines. So basically the next step here it says that the URL uh, master module is not uh, enabled yet when by just installing the module. You have actually to go to host friendly URLs and here at the top it says that uh, the site is currently using the default URL provide, friendly URL provider and if you want to start using the the affinity module uh, we need to apply changes at the bottom of this page so i'm gonna go straight to that and most likely later i will get into more details about uh, those options i'll explore those options but for now i just want to apply the changes so basically with those changes applied, uh, this has changed in the web config the, the provider for the friendly URL uh, and has switched with the affinity uh, provider. So now I understand that the module has lots of different options, lots of different settings, but I want to focus on a very simple task. I want to create a page in my website and I want to be able to tell uh, what is the name what is the URL that I want to that I want that page to be accessed from okay so again I just want to make sure that I can create a page and rename uh, the URL for that page using the module I just want to accomplish that for now again we may explore in more details all those different options but the goal is just to change the, the URL for a particular page that we're going to create. So let's do just that now. Let's click on the new page. 
Now the trial version is showing up at the top, which is fine because again we are just using a trial version. Uh, our page name will be my new page. This is title, and this will be accessible by all the users. And I'm just gonna click update. Now here is how my new page is, is being called uh, from the point of view of the URL. And let's say that I want another name for this page. I don't want that name, I want something different. And now I'm gonna explore how will I be able to accomplish that by using um, Affinity URL Master. I'm assuming that, again, most likely all those answers would be easily found based on the documentation instructions that they sent, but I want to explore the module a little bit and get to know it without going through the documentation yet. So let's go to admin. I'm assuming that page URLs is where I will be able to rename my page. So here is the page URL page. Let me see if I click my new pages, which is my new page, which is the new page that I have created. Here's the URL that is showing up. So I'm assuming that I should click add new URL to be able to add a new name for, for this page. So let's call this new name dot ASPX. So now I should be able to just click apply changes. Not sure why the extension has been cut off, but let me try again here and let me maybe select 200 OK. Maybe that's not this not relevant, but just in case. Well, okay, the, the extension gets cut out for some reason. Uh, let me just flip here from one page to the other one. Yeah, my new entry is there. Let me try to load the page again just to see if things were really saved. Yes, it's here. Okay, so page URL shows a new name now. So let's try to access from Let's try to access this page from another tab. So the page is coming up. It's coming up to, to my new page. So I was able to successfully rename. Well, I'm not sure if, if I have renamed actually or just created another way of accessing this page. I, I'm assuming that I can still access this page uh, via the, the original URL. Yep, so my original the original URL is still running, still available. So uh, I'm assuming as well that the menu system will be pointed to the, yes to my new name. Perfect. So although the extension in the settings was cut off, but it's working quite well from the menu perspective. Let's go back there to the page URLs. So let's go back there. Yes, my new setting is here. And it says that this is a page URL, and this is the one that will be used to build the the menus. Now I'm not going to explore the fact that now I have two different URLs all point to the same page. So uh, I don't know if this should have if this should be a three on redirect or not. But I'll leave it as is. My my intention with this first video is not to go deep into this module is basically to to put it here just to give it a try see if it does the, the very basic stuff which is I just I just try to do and I understand that there's a whole bunch of settings under uh, friendly URLs uh, and again I will I'll explore some of those settings in uh, in another video but this is for now just what I wanted to do tried to install the module, I was able to install the module, try version, and I was able to use it successfully to rename the page URL for a particular page. Okay, thanks, bye for now.